this is Crimson Blades and today we're going to be checking out Halls of Torment. It's a game that's uh, reminiscent of games like Vampire Survivors or that genre of games where you get waves and waves of continuous enemies and you have to hold them off. This game has been on my radar uh, mostly after watching a couple of people try it out and it's pretty cheap on Steam right now. It's uh, a few dollars, I believe it's like five dollars currently. And uh, I think what makes it stand out is there's different sort of classes that you can play and it's just cool looking. I thought I'd give it a go and uh, hope you guys enjoy this gameplay too. Uh, so I just tried out the swordsman class to get a feel of what the game looks like. But let's let's play a, a, a round or two with uh, different classes here. So let's try out the archer class that I just unlocked. Um, there is some money that we have down here, which eventually I guess we can figure out how to use it. Ah, this is probably where it is. So I'm gonna see, yeah, as it says, it says uh, permanent buffs to your character. Uh, so let's say we go with pickup range, maybe some movement speed and attack range. Uh, yeah, why don't we go with that for now? Looks like you can refund your money. Um, what? Let's see what the others are. The quest to be done. So I'll just go over to the, the main hall and give it a whirl. So for those unfamiliar, this is a game that you know, you, the time is going to be ticking and you're just going to have waves and waves of enemies coming after you. And eventually, as time goes on, it gets harder and harder. But the more enemies you kill, the more XP you get, just like this. And uh, the key is trying to balance out what abilities you want. So let's go at some attack speed there. It's nice environmental stuff. I know it looks simplistic, but things are going to get a little bit more and more intense as time goes on. Uh, let's go with movement speed. There seems to be a sort of a marker down below telling me to get to maybe an item or some kind of quest. But we'll level up a little bit more before we start attempting that. So far this character is seeming pretty, pretty decent at this. Let's go with critical chance. Speed, let's go with that. Gonna become like a machine gun here. Every so often, as the waves are going, certain bosses will start to appear too. And I'll point them out when they show up, but they will be obvious. And different kind of enemies start to emerge as well. Some that are tougher, obviously, as you can tell. There you go. So this is what one of the bosses looks like. Um, point one five. So this actually... More projectiles. This sounds pretty good. Let's try that. Kind of feels like this. Is that two or is that occasionally three? Really, the boss can't really get near me if I keep at this pace. Get him off through the fire there. Alright, so let's have a look here. Fires needles at random nearby enemies. That sounds pretty good. Keeping this, these 
these uh, projectile gameplay going. So I'm gonna try and circle back to grab as much of those coins that we missed. Keep the levels going. 20% attack speed. speed and regen let's go with that actually a bit more health regeneration and movement speed right. let's start making our way down a little bit towards that um, whatever that quest marker is as we kill enemies and get xp So in games like this, over time you really want to get some pickup range if you can. Uh, speaking of which, there it is. Because you want to be able to get all this XP without having to waste time. The more you pick up, the faster you level up. more movement speed. Looks like the gold is the long term currency. What you're getting there is the blue markers are, uh, blue crystals are probably XP. Uh, the more you collect that, the more you level up. There you go, bosses. Bosses here are quite, quite interesting from what I've been seeing. fragile is what I'll say given my health I'm summoning some imps maybe I can get him into this again all right uh, let's get a bit of regen I need a bit more health Going up to some of them, sometimes you get uh, these defense items. Uh, oh, 
complete it. Oh, that means I've got it before. Plus three defense, plus three block strength. Uh, you know what? Let's go with the wooden ring. Let's keep keep uh, keep our character <laughs> fragile yet a good damage dealer, I guess. Sort of see if we can backtrack a little. I'll grab the XP we missed. I feel like we're still not doing enough damage. Ah, this new symbol, so one top right, one bottom right here. Let's actually try and trigger that fire. And attack speed? Needles. And for any veterans of the game, I do apologize. This is about my second time playing, so if I'm picking things that you would not recommend, it would be great to hear about it. <laughs> Uh, because I'm probably not playing it as optimally as I should, that's for sure. Uh, more pickup range. The more pickup range, the faster your level, so it's always a good one to get. Big ones become smaller ones. A boss unit. to the controls I mean a lot of it is just moving around with your mouse uh, and you can keep your your attack as uh, auto attack so it keeps attacking but you do control the direction with your mouse oh. Crap. has that without his shield. He moves really fast though. Got him. Alright, so let's see what's new here. Mm. 
Let's do the lightning strike one. See how that looks. Oh. Oh. Well, there you go. There you have it. All right. So when I finish, I mean, they give you a bit of stats. Uh, next main quest enter ember grounds item win crown okay all right so i didn't unlock a character for that one uh what i can do i'll play one more but i'll play as a swordsman this time so you can have a look at what it's like this is the character you have to actually start with uh let's go to the shrine of blessing see what we can buff uh we really do want pick up range as always uh it's pretty much Alien projectile size. Alright, I mean, sure. We can, because we can always refund it, it looks like. Um, quests, again, quests is. It looks like we just have to discover them. Deal, astronomers, orbs. Oh, okay, you gotta finish these missions first. Alright. And then. Uh, I can go to the Amber Grounds. Let's check out this new place with the swordsman. That was the fires. Should have wasted that. Over here. Uh oh. <laughs> I feel underpowered for this. Hello? Over here. Hey. Okay. Uh. Let's go with. Uh, okay, so let's go with the cone size, I guess. Someone there. It's audio. Hey. Uh, let's go at tech speed. Help. Oh, somebody needs help. That's what. Oh, there it is. Hey, man. Someone. Praise the gods! Another mortal soul! I beg of you, release me from this wretched cage! The key must be somewhere nearby! I'm there! I love this old school style, I guess. Hello? Key is somewhere nearby. Oh, there, there. The key is on the right. It shows you the same Pick up range. We'll get you the key, one second, man. I wonder if he comes to solve this permanent character in your base, or whether it's a temporary thing. Alright, we'll get you that key. I just want to grab a few more levels because I'm not sure how far the key is. Uh, Alright, movement speed. Okay, now maybe I'll start moving towards the key. Oh no, a lot of imps coming in. What is that? Boss. Oh, that's much faster kills. Um, yeah. More range and critical damage. Alright. Wait, where's the key? Oh, there it is. Go with attack speed. Uh, 
more damage. Kinda walking into these. Oh, he's there. Get it. Okay, let's slowly be coming back to that guy. Cause I am curious what happens. Man, this boss is painful. Uh, let's go with more pickup range. I'm very early in the game, so uh, you know I don't. Uh, I, I'm going to expect there to be like a ton of maps and different characters and so on. And this game is very popular currently, so uh, let's see how it plays out. There you are. Let's go. Let's get you out of here. You're back. Please free me from this accursed place. Quick, the shadows are closing in. All right. Been rescued, well, keeper. Uh, let's go more damage. This guy's so sturdy. Oh! Oh god, alright. Couldn't even get that. Alright. So, uh, we unlocked a couple of things. Um, these are the things we unlocked. So, new traits, well keeper. Let's see if he's back in the base. There he is. So I just want to see what the well keeper does and that is pretty much it. So let's have a look here. You've earned my deepest gratitude for the rescue, of course. And since we've made such a great team down there, I have a proposition for you. This well has dried up a long time ago. Now it leads to the very halls you helped me escape. But if you ever happen to find the other end, you might want to drop a trinket into the bucket. Then I hoist it up and make it available to you up here. What do you say? Interesting. So you can save <laughs> items. Ah, item stash. You can buy new items once you've retrieved it through the well. Okay, okay, I see. All right. Okay, so there's a lot of variety there with this. We're going to make it quite replayable, I imagine. All right. So, I mean, that was just the first look at Halls of Torment. I, I can see why it's so addictive and fun. I mean, this gameplay loop is known to work very well. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching um, me fail at this game a couple of times there. And uh, I really do appreciate you guys stopping by and checking this out. I hope uh, if you guys are interested in the game that you pick it up. Uh, like I said, it was about $5 on Steam. Thank you so much again. And I hope you guys have an awesome day. Like and subscribe. Thank you. Have a great day. I'll see you in the next one. You can count on my steel.